Hey, hey, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Fierce and Free. I'm going to be sharing my secret sauce on how to dress chic and trendy without breaking the bank. So without further ado, let's get started. Recently, I did an episode on modesty and how to dress fashionably for yourself. And I had a few girls asking me, well, how do I do this if I can't afford to dress that way? And you guys, I totally understand the concept of balling on a budget. Trust me. So one of the best pieces of advice is first going to a website's clothing that I'm interested in. Uh, take Lulu's, for example. I really love their clothing. It's modest and chic and elegant. And I can appreciate that because nowadays, if you find a cute top, you turn it around and the entire backside's missing or they have this weird little cutout under your boob. And to me, that just doesn't scream classy, elegant, or wifey material. So I definitely take a pass on those. You know, it's a, it's a lot of under teat, but I think I'm getting away with it. Also, it's um, on backwards. You think? All right, so when I look for clothing, I go to a website that I really like, Zara, Lulu's, whatever you pick. And on a lot of these websites, uh, one outfit can run you about $200, and that just doesn't seem like a wise purchase. And it's totally understandable that the majority of Americans can't afford that, especially with where our economy is at right now. So what I will do is I will go to that website, look up the outfit that I'm interested in, the top or the pants, whatever it is, I'll copy the name of that outfit and then I'll go and paste it in Poshmark or Mercari. Now these websites are actually secondhand clothing stores where women buy and sell clothing pieces and items that they just don't wear anymore. And the beauty of these websites is that you can offer for less than someone is selling for. A lot of women will only wear these outfits once or twice or for a special occasion and they just decide that they don't want to wear it anymore or it just doesn't fit them the way they thought it would. And a lot of them actually have the tags still on the outfit or item because they forgot to ship it back or that website just doesn't allow returns or exchanges. But here's the kicker. Once they've ordered that product, the value of that item immediately drops. And once it's already worn, the value of that product decreases drastically. It's just like a car. As soon as you drive it off of the lot, it immediately decreases in value. All right, so recently I posted myself in this Zara jacket that actually goes for $89.09 retail. Um, I bought it for $52 brand new on Poshmark. I kid you not, the girl who was selling it just didn't like the way that it looked on her and she had already taken off the tags and just wanted to get rid of it. So I found it for a really, really good price. Mind you, I had been keeping my eye out for this jacket for about three months or so. And what's great about these thrifting websites is that you can actually add a filter to send you notifications when someone's selling what you're actually looking for. Also, don't be afraid to offer less than the asking price because you don't know how desperate they are to make a sale. Another thing to keep in mind when trying to look trendy on a budget is to invest in classic pieces that can be worn multiple ways. Uh, a little black dress, a well-fitted blazer, a pair of versatile pumps that are great examples of, you know, what can be dressed up or down all year round. Another way to stay on trend without spending a lot of money is by focusing on accessories. A statement necklace, a pair of earrings can instantly update your wardrobe and your outfit and add that trendy touch. I actually linked my Amazon storefront below and I do include a lot of dainty and beautiful jewelry that can be versatile with different outfits. All right, another thing to look out for are coupons and sales. Make sure that you download Honey because Honey is a free browser download extension that you can add. Uh, this finds you good coupons that are currently on that site or other people have used recently for that site. Also, keep your eye out for sales both online and in person. Hobby Lobby is my place, y'all. Um, Recently, they had their spring 40% off sale and your girl went ham. That's all I got to say. My husband and I had been eyeing some wall decor and we had been waiting a few months or so and they finally went on sale. So we saved about $180 just on some wall decor. 
Also keep your eye out for sales around Christmas, Easter, any major holidays. Luckily my birthday is right after Christmas so I have always gotten those super sweet deals. One year Kate Spade was having a huge sale. I think it was like half off of purses and I had already gotten all of my Christmas presents but because they were extending the sale to January, I asked my husband, can you go get me this purse I've really, really been wanting? It was half off and yes, it was still about Mm, I think it was about $75 with the coupon. But the thing to remember is that with statement pieces and and clothing items like jackets, coats, purses, uh, jewelry, you you do want to spend a little more because they'll go go further. Those items can be worn for years on end. So spending a little bit more just to have quality is worth it. All in all, just make sure that you're being patient and frugal when purchasing a product because it's easy and fun to impulse buy, but it is really rewarding to know that you were patient and waited for a good deal to come along. My grandpa always told me one of the reasons that he really adores my grandma is because she doesn't spend his money. Mind you, my grandpa was an attorney, so yes, my grandma could have spent all of his money and any other woman would have as well, but she has always been extremely frugal. Even though they could afford luxury, she was always very careful with how she spent their money. Remember, the rich stay rich because they don't spend their money. Now, I am a huge, huge believer that we should be frugal with our money because we are called to be Proverbs 31 women, ladies. As Proverbs 31 women, we are called to do that. So if you can help your husband not spend a lot of your guys' money, that's a really beautiful attribute and bonus that you can bring to the marriage. All right, folks, I hope that these tips helped. As always, please remember to like and subscribe and share if you enjoyed this episode. But until next time, please remember that you are fierce and free because of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All right, everyone, have a good week. Bye.